Hi, my name is Steve Wyborny. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video will introduce the three container estimation routine. It will walk you through step by step all of the directions, and then it will show you how to get free copies of your own materials. Let's take a closer look. When you open the document for the three container estimation routine, you'll notice a title slide at the beginning, an end screen slide at the end, and then two estimation experiences in the middle. These two slides work in exactly the same way as each other. The same clicks, the same animations, the same questions, everything about them is the same, except for the picture on the slide. You could choose to use just one slide, or just the other slide, or my recommendation is to use both slides back to back. You can use this in either PowerPoint or in Google Slides. If you want to use Google Slides, just save it into your Google Drive and then open it with slides from inside of your Google Drive. Either way, make sure the slideshow is playing and this is what you'll see. On the title slide, you'll see that two sets are included and they both follow the same sequence, which is this. On the first click, the picture appears and students can see that there are three containers and they're all filled with the same type of object, but each container has a different number. There are quite a few questions you could ask at this point, and I would really encourage you to explore those. When you're ready, you can click, and this question will appear. What is the total number of objects? At this point, students are thinking about the grand total. They're writing down their estimate and sharing with each other what number they chose and why they chose it. Then when you click again, this box will appear that says the total, and that means that you're about to share with the students what the grand total is. When you click again, that number will appear. In this case, the total is 64 objects. The next click is going to bring up a new question, which is how many are in each container? Now the students have the total number to work with and they can compare the amount of objects in each container. The next click will draw attention specifically to the first container and the question it's posing is how many objects do you estimate are in just the first container? I've also designed a pencil to appear after each question as a reminder to students to be sure to write down their estimate and share with their partner what number they chose and why they chose it. The next click brings up the reveal box which means that you're about to show the answer to the number of objects in the first container. The next click will reveal that number. In this case there are 17 objects in the first container. There's a lot to be learned from all the information on the screen and there's also a lot of context to work with now. For example, the first container has a little less than the last container. So the third container must have a little more than 17. And we can also think about the number 64. So what happens on the next click? When you click again, two question marks will appear, asking students to think about two estimates, their estimate for the number in the second container and their estimate for the number in the third container. And of course, the pencils will appear again to remind the students to write down both estimates so that they can discuss them with a partner. The next click shows two reveal boxes at the same time because you're about to reveal the answer to the number in the second container and the answer to the number in the third container. The reveals will take place one at a time. So on the next click, this answer will be revealed. It is 27 objects. And then this answer will be revealed. It is 20 objects. And that completes the three container estimation routine. Remember that there's another slide, a second experience waiting for you, and it follows exactly the same steps. The first click shows the picture, then the question, what is the total number of objects? Then the total is revealed. This time it's 44. Then the question, how many are in each bowl? Followed by how many are in the first bowl? And then the reveal. This time the number in the first bowl is 17. And then two questions at once, pointing to the second bowl and the third bowl which is followed by two reveals that take place one at a time. In this case, those numbers are 15 and 12. You can see that the routine is the same every time. So how do you get more copies of these resources? To make it as easy as possible, you'll find the links on the end screen right here. On the end screen, you'll find links to get back to more three container estimation routines. They're on the top here after the new multiplication workbook, which is called the Multiplication Advantage. Then are 32 weeks of estimistries, which are going to be the brand new estimistries for this school year. And then you'll find the link to get back to more three container estimation routines, which you can download from my blog. Thank you so much for watching this video.